Ladies and gentlemen, back here, the report from Tiger Mountain for the second part of our discussion at an undisclosed location with Mr. David Thrussell. Our queen has fallen, we're going to put her here for the time being. And uh, the globalists, the black, are making their move. Can they the white... certainly making their move. Can they, can they come back? We're sitting here at the Grand Chess Board, examining the situation. Join us tonight for our second part of our chat with David Thrussell, the report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back. So, uh, second part of our chat. What were we talking about uh, in the first part? Uh, the endless plague. The plague that will never end. Yes, the endless yeah, pandemic. Yeah. And I mean, they've made their move. I hope. I'm trying to remain a faintest hint of optimism. I hope that they've made themselves too obvious. You yes. know, they've, they've moved too quickly. They're too arrogant. They're too confident. These are the things that I hope for, you know, because they, you know, they control the media. They control politics. They control, you know, academia, etc., etc. you know. But... I've noticed whenever I have friends who send me snippets of mainstream media every now and then, right? Yes. Just, to, just to annoy me, I think, basically, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if every now and then they accidentally leave the comments on some mainstream media thing, like the ABC yeah, yeah, or yeah. Channel 7 or something like this, on YouTube, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't even look at the story generally. Yeah. I look at the comments. Everyone's turned, yeah. Everyone knows. Well, it's, 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 it's full extraordinary. of thousands of people who don't buy it. Who Absolutely. Go, oh, this is bullshit. I don't buy it. Yep. Fuck off. Blah, 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 blah. I know? constantly, that's one of the reasons I enjoy being on social media. I constantly go on the mainstream and, you know, um, you know. Well, they I generally always... turn the comments off, don't they? You know, because they don't like the interact. Oh, no, they do. I mean, they I'm... do sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. But they every now and then they accidentally leave accidentally them on. Accidentally leave them on, yeah. Yes. On Facebook, you sometimes you often have a comment section. But yeah, yeah, the amount of people who turn, I mean, Clearly, the uh, the people who doubt this event are more vocal on social media than the people who agree with it. Um, I mean, a lot of people who agree with it is going along with it, but um, you know, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, think it's, it's a bit a... of, a, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I, maybe I'm going overboard about this, but I think there is a bit of a class thing involved in this. You know, yes. I've noticed what I, and you know, we've discussed this before. I think you know what I would call the enabling class, or the, even the collaborator class. Yes. You know, the, the the sort of your upper middle class types who are in the media and they're in academia and they work for the government and blah 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 they're all on the gravy train you know they're yeah, rewarded yeah, yeah. for their obedience and so they're incredibly obedient and you cannot have a discussion with them or penetrate their bubble with any kind of information or any doubt did you whatsoever. see recently but there other was a... people who aren't on the gravy train yep. are much more open you know that the average people for yeah, want yeah. of a better word are actually reasonably suspicious of this thing yeah. you know? uh, the you... enabling class they're on the gravy train they're rewarded for their obedience yeah. and they don't they don't want to doubt it for uh, a second. Avi Yemeni, I don't, I don't always like everything he does or supports or whatever, but like he did this interesting video with somebody from the ABC. She was like a makeup person and, um, you know, I mean, she wasn't a presenter or anything, but she yeah. she doubted, um, you know, some of the mask wearing narrative, like, you know. Sure. She, and also there was this other nurse in Canada who had, it wasn't to do with Avi Yemeni, but it was another video that was online. Um, basically, she went, she volunteered in Africa and she went to places like Kenya where there is no masks. And sure. basically there is no COVID. You know what I mean? There is no COVID. You're not even worried about it. Well, you don't it. have 20... You probably... I don't know, but I'm assuming you might not have 24-7 media coverage. No, they don't. Everything. They don't. And so also, all the people sudden, there... Shh, it goes the people away. there don't have a... You know, I mean, there still are large portions of the planet that are, are not... You know, there are a lot of people on the planet who don't even have electricity. Not only do they have not have internet, sure. but they have television. And these people are basically and COVID spell, free. The spell disappears because yeah. we're in a spell. I actually yeah. think... I'll be honest about it. Yeah. I think that this is a, a is an occult moment. Yeah. And we are under a spell. We are. And, you know, and, and by We're going to break it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's yeah, yeah, absolutely. Stop you know, buying it. Stop yeah, obeying. It's a spell from the media. You know, they they pump out this fear porn and it and it it hypnotizes people. Yeah. You know, and traumatizes them. It does, yeah. yeah. If you're not exposed to that garbage, mm -hmm. I think it all just probably just wafts away. You know? yep. and it's not just this fake pandemic nonsense. I think this actually applies across the board to all sorts of things. All sorts of things. We're in a spell, largely cast by the media and the yeah. puppets in politics and the rest of them, blah, 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 you know. Mm. But, yeah, it's a spell. Well, we're know? talking about this uh, Africa again. I mean, Africa's done rather well during all this. It's done better than many European countries. When you consider un how unhygienic it is, how is that possible in a pandemic? And um, the other thing that's interesting... Because none of this shit adds up. <laughs> exactly, none, none of it. it adds up. And none. there was this leader, I think it was... I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe uh, it was Tanzania. Tanzania. Yeah. Tanzania. What he did, too, Oops. is when he got the tests, yeah. is he tested a a papau and tested a mango and he tested yeah. like a duck or something yeah. and they all goat. came back positive goat yeah. a goat that's right like, they all <laughs> came back positive for covid yeah and so that's when he and thought at the Hang time on i went yeah. oh watch out mate yeah yeah watch out and he's dead now yeah you're gonna get epstein mate he got epstein yeah. and um you know so um you know yeah he obviously didn't bite and there are other 
that, I mean, obviously, Africa is a country when you have a health scare. I mean, this is a country that has real health scares, that has real health problems. And when they have a health problem, you know, a million people die or, uh, you know, a lot of people die. So when they have something that doesn't matter, like, I guess, like, it seems like Africa's whole reaction to COVID is like, you know, th that is literally it. Well, I don't know. I'm not there, yeah. but I assume it's because they don't have the spell. Certainly yeah. not as strongly as we have. It's this, extraordinary, this isn't occult it? occult spell. And we can't you know? leave our countries, you know, I mean, England's been locked down in their homes basically as long as we were last year. You were lucky you were in the country, but in Melbourne, it was like a Starlight -like fucking uh, 13. To be like. honest, you could feel the evil emanating from Melbourne. And really? I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating. Now, Daniel Andrews, he had a little, a little tumble down a flight of stairs. You got an opinion uh, on apparently, that? Apparently, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean... Uh, well, I noticed, and I could be wrong about this because I don't, I, you know, I just glance at these things. I don't mm -hmm. take all of it in, but it seemed like four of them went down in a week. Andrews, yep. the health minister, yes. the defence minister, some other minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four of them went down in a week. What's that about? Something odd going on there, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, were they were they dumb enough to take the vaccine? I mean, surely they're not that stupid, you know? No, or, maybe they are. Maybe they are, you know? I honestly or, think a lot of people at, at the ABC who are useful idiots or whatever, they're going to be taking the vaccine, mate. And they're clearly not in on them not doing it, you know? But I mean, would they really give it to Because a guy like Andrews is a sort of a linchpin. You know, he's, yeah, yeah. he's a he's a very pivotal guy. They need that guy yeah, yeah. to enact this plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, are they dumb enough to give that thing to him? He's not always? even back but, yet, you know. It happened like three, four weeks ago. He's still off he's still off deck. I, Basically I I'm I'm assuming mm -hmm. they were dumb enough to take the vaccine. Yeah. Or it was at Lindsay Fox's house who's a well, you know, so they guy. say. I don't know if I believe any of these narratives because that yeah. looks like a counter narrative yeah, so yeah. that you don't ask questions about yeah, what yeah. actually the hell happened. Yeah, you yeah. know? Because there's been a Royal Commission uh, that he's been uh, proposing into Crown Casino. I mean, I don't know if it had anything to do with that, but obviously I think it's a very strange event. And obviously he, he was seriously injured because he's been off deck for a while and he'd love to be, you know, making pronouncements and banning people. Well, it all seems to have gone a little bit quiet without him involved. He's he a has. linchpin, that guy. He he's is a obviously, linchpin, yeah. You know, he's obviously a very... Top cabalist. Well, I don't think so. necessarily, not yep. necessarily, but he's a very useful puppet, yep, this yep. guy. You know, he's well programmed, yep. he's totally on board, you know. Now, speaking of the Queen, what do you yes. think of Meghan Markle and Harry and all that stuff? I don't family? follow these things, yep, to be yep. honest. You know, I, I know that you're a little bit of a fan of the royal family, you've said before. To some you know? extent. I mean, I do think it's interesting the way that Meghan Markle and Harry and Oprah and that kind of released this video that was definitely attacking them. And also, too, that Prince Andrew was kind of lured into the, into the kind of web of, of Epstein. And, you know, I mean... That's what it was. I mean, Jeffrey Epstein, he has prostitutes who are 20, 25 years old. He's in New York. One minute you're partying with 25-year-old prostitutes thinking it's great. Next minute you're on an island and hang on a minute, you've got a 15-year-old, a 16-year-old. He snuck one in there, you know. So I think it's obviously about blackmail. It's obviously about Mossad and to gain kind of political control over people. But I think someone like Andrew, but the fact that he was lured, it means that they, they see the royal family as an enemy. Because often when you talk about the cabal, a lot of people include the royal family as like being like the Rothschilds almost, but there seems sure. to be some schism there. So, I mean, I think that's maybe interesting. That's why I wanted to bring it up. Possibly. Mm. I mean, if, if that were the case, I would assume that that was infighting yes, between exactly. different groups of the cabal. Yeah, okay? I think that would make sense. You know? yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I, look, I'm not sure about, you know, my, look, I, I hold the royal family in low regard. Low regard. That's probably the most generous thing I could say. I just think that they're the bandits and murderers who are the most successful. Well, really, you know? they were the globalists before the globalists. It, you know, I mean, precisely, the, the British yeah. Empire are, are the globalists. And if you really think about what the globalists are doing, like, you know, the, today's globalists, the School of Davos, um, the Bilderbergers and all this group, well, they're essentially copying the tactics of the British Empire, divide and conquer. Um, and, Absolutely and, divide and rule. Absolutely um, lo divide and rule. looting and pillaging. Um, yep. You know, strip mining the economies yep. of all the countries they control. This yep. is what they're doing. It's colonialism 2.0. It, it, it really is. is That's you know. the name of this video, ladies right, and gentlemen. Yeah. Colonialism, colonialism 2.0. <laughs> what's What's interesting and tragic at the same time is that they have they've done this great psychological operation mm. on the people who may have been the dissidents, but I think that actually yeah. they're too mentally and politically incompetent to even be up to that. And they've they've turned them, they've mm -hmm. flipped them, and The Guardian is the perfect example of this. Yeah. And these people are now cheerleaders for colonialism 2.0. Yes. You know, I mean, that that whole strata, which may have offered some resistance, but probably they're probably too pathetic to even offer any resistance to anything, really. Yep. But they have been all weaponized into be cheerleaders for colonialism 2.0. I mean, yep. the, the layers of irony and dysfunction yep. at the moment are extraordinary. You know? All right. Well, I think yeah. it's time for uh, to make another move here on the chessboard. The white is going to take 
Take the black. There Whoa. you go. We've made a move. The okay. cabal has lost the priest. Oh, Look out. thank heavens for that. All right, sign. we're going to come back and do a third shorter video and sum up uh, what we've been talking about today here with David Thrussell. Thank you for listening.